welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Okay, so it's actually not morning anymore. It's uh, 12.57. It's one in the afternoon. It's a pretty gloomy day out there, so it's actually gonna be a chill one. Like, I actually kind of want to dedicate the day to TV watching, which is something that I don't typically do. And I might say that I'm doing that, but I never end up actually doing it, and it bothers me, because I always tell myself, okay, I'm gonna have a lost day. I'm gonna binge, and I never do it. Like, I don't know why. During the day, I can't do it. But today, I want to do it. Maybe I'll throw in some Sims, too. We'll see. I had a little omelet for my breakfast lunch. I ate it around 12, so I don't know what you want to call that. And now it is time for our matcha. But now that I know that it's not all different drinks, I hope today's is a drink because like I want one now. Let us see. Let's see what we got. Dun, 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 dun. Where is number six? Six. Oh, good. <gasps> Guys, okay, I'm gonna run you through this really quick before I show you. My favorite thing in the world, I concocted a drink when I was living in LA, in case you do not know, and it was a matcha, but it was made with blueberry lavender milk from Trader Joe's. Now that I'm in Canada, I don't have access to Trader Joe's, so I bought blueberry flavoring to add to my matcha so I could have the same experience. This right here, blueberry matcha, it's blueberry. So it's all in, oh my God, I really think this is gonna be a treat. This is gonna be, gonna be a treat. <sighs> Also, I did wear this yesterday, I did sleep in it, and I will be wearing it again today. I didn't go anywhere, I didn't do anything, and I'm not going anywhere again. Why can't I open this? I'm not going anywhere today, so whatever. There we go, okay. Oh my God. One teaspoon matcha. It's actually kind of great, like there's so much left in here, I can make so many drinks. I have so much matcha. Day six is a good day. I wonder if I can blend it with, let's just, I want to see if I can get this froth. Please don't explode. Shoot, okay. I went too far. It was going well if I, I pushed it. It's fine, it's fine. We didn't lose too much. And it's very frothy now. I mean, look at it. It looks amazing. Wow. I forgot one of the most crucial ingredients. It's really good without it, but it needs it. I go one day without it and I, forget to add my sweetener. Crap, it's not gonna be the same now. It's not gonna, as soon as I like put my lips to the straw, I was like, fuck. Okay, let's try it again. Cheers. Yeah, it's really good, but I have to admit, it's a little bit, maybe my expectations were too high. I was a little too excited about this one. I think the berries and cream one is still my favorite. That one was really good. Yeah, this one's so good, but like it just doesn't have like the strongest blueberry flavor. Slightly disappointed. Still delicious. Course. Okay, so as I said, I'm gonna have a nice chill TV day, I think. I'm gonna do some editing, and then once I'm done with the editing, that's when I'll start the TV day. But I'm gonna do something today that I'm really, really looking forward to. I'm gonna go back and look at my videos where I've gotten psychic readings, and I'm gonna see if any of those things have come true. I'm so, so excited. I've always loved psychic readings. I love hearing things that, you know, can make me excited for my future. So I'm excited to see if anything I was told previously has happened. Yeah, we're gonna do that at some point this afternoon. All right, guys, it is 4.30. It's getting dark outside now, so I just turned on the lights. I have not done any of my TV watching. I have not played any Sims. I have been working, and then I got on the phone with my mom because she called me because she found this listing for this townhouse that she fell in love with and my dad fell in love with it. And they called me to be like, you need this place. So they sent me the listing and like, it's perfect. It's perfect, it's so beautiful. So we're uh, gonna go see it tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. And I know I'm gonna be upset cause it's like, it has everything that I want. We'll see what it looks like in person, but from the photos, it really looks like it has it's just exactly the right vibe. Even the master bathroom looks just like the master bathroom that I made in LA. Like it's it's my place in LA here, but better. I'm gonna tour tomorrow. I will vlog it for you guys and take you along. I'm also touring one other property that we saw. So we're gonna tour both of those tomorrow, but like, <sighs> It's also just tough because I still don't really know what I want to do yet with, you know what, we'll talk about it more in tomorrow's vlog when I actually get to tour these places. I'll give you guys like a rundown of my thoughts on where I want to live and what I want to do and all that, but we're gonna go see them first and then I'll 
see where my head's at. Anyways, uh, before it's like actually dark outside, it's only 4.30, you know, like there should be more hours of the day. Actually, Ontario passed a bill or a law or something to get rid of daylight savings because everyone hates it, especially in the winter too. Like why make the days so short? People already suffer with seasonal depression. Like this only makes it worse, but it depends on the surrounding places if that bill or law can pass. I'm not sure, but that would really be amazing if they could just say screw it and like get rid of daylight savings. Anyways, oh my God, I cannot keep a straight thoughts. We're gonna go watch the psychic readings now. I'm really excited. So I did a reading in, I think it was 2018 with the psychic twins. I have not watched this back in a very long time. So I'm very excited to see. It's an 18 minute long video. So I'm gonna kind of jump through it and just show you guys the interesting stuff. Now you do, uh, you know, travel vlogging yes. and fashion vlogging now why don't we talk about your future together you know i know that that was one of your questions i don't know why but i'm seeing your paths diverge a little bit in terms of living it feels like next year i think that you may choose to live in different places from one another which is fine you're very young what i'm getting is not to rush it Tara. right you know and i feel like why do i feel taylor that you have a fear of commitment a little bit of a fear of commitment I'm right. skipping over all the stuff with my ex. I just, I don't want it. I feel like, Tara, you know, I see you in a marriage in the future. I see you with two kids in the future. I see you in a very happy, settled relationship. But again, I keep, I keep hearing, like for both of you, marriage more towards your 30s, like maybe closer to age 30. But I, I really feel like you will both have happy relationships and happy marriages. Separately. Have you been thinking of moving into a condo when the time is right? It feels like within the next year, year and a yes. half. I okay, because I kept seeing condos. That's so funny, actually. That, I, I okay. do plan on yes. buying a condo. Oh, next awesome! Year. Yeah. Buying one, actually. I did do that. That'll be a wonderful place. You're gonna love the neighborhood. It's gonna be quiet. Good people around you. And you asked this iconic. You would be staying in Los Angeles. Yes. I actually got a six, so I felt like it could be six, seven years in that okay. time frame that you would be here. That is because I don't see myself here forever. Well, I, I actually saw you all over the map. I mean, you're you're a world traveler. Mm -hmm. I, I was getting Arizona for some reason. I was getting Colorado felt good. I don't know if you consider going back to Canada, but you know, I see you going back and forth. Sometimes I think about it. <laughs> Doing um, that now. It depends on like, my visa situation, which okay. I worry about. Okay. Do you guys think that I'll be able to stay here? I feel, I feel you will be able to do that. Okay. I really do. I did get it. And you believe in uh, the law of attraction. Yes. I do. The next year or so, Tara, is going to be very, very powerful for you to manifest what you want. And you do that easily anyway. You're a manifester. It seems like you, you see it, you envision it, and it kind of happens. But you make it happen. Yeah. You make it happen. You know, you're going to find opportunities will come to you in the next two, three years especially, it feels, 20, 2020 and 2021, I feel we're going to be very big years for you. 2020 has been my biggest year yet, so. Opportunities to work in the fashion industry. You wouldn't be surprised if you were head of a, of a company someday. It could be, I have chills again. I, I'm <laughs> getting chill, waves of chills. Are you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, because that feels right to me that you're meant to run a company. And it could be involving fashion or makeup, things like this. Um, I do have my own clothing store, so. That's gonna come years down the road. Okay. okay. Came two years I later. Because you'll have children and, and like oh. clothing, makeup, you know, like just a bunch of different things, healthy foods, yeah. it could be a bunch of different things. Okay, so that was their video. And now I'm gonna watch the one that we did for my channel, but the camera is dying, so I need to go switch out did I plug in? Yeah, I did. I need to switch the battery. Oh no. Is there another one? Yes, 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 yes. Shoot. So it turns out the battery that I thought was charged was indeed not charged. So it's 20 minutes later, five o'clock, pretty much completely dark outside. And we are now going to continue with this watching. I feel like you're going to be doing a book, like you're gonna write a book. Have you ever thought about that? That's like a visual. Well, visual. Uh, that would be really cool. I've always kind of yeah. liked writing, yeah. but I've never like seriously thought about a book. But that would be fun. Yeah. Book. It won't be for another two or three years. Okay. Yeah, notebook. Um, two years later, and I, I don't have a book in mind for next year either, so I don't know about that. I think it's going to involve maybe DIY and makeup ideas uh, and travel. travel and I do not DIY. <laughs> I'm ready to. 
that you will be doing YouTube for quite a while. Uh, it feels like you'll be uh, centered around LA for, a few years. for quite a few years because opportunities that you're going to need to be at events. There's the connections here uh, better than Toronto <laughs> for sure. And that's Shit. why I feel that you may not marry each other. It's possible. I'm not it's saying possible. it is impossible. I feel like I've seen you diverge. I think you're wonderful. I asked this because I specifically had my doubts, so I wanted to hear what they had to say. I think that it's possible. Don't come it's at it, say it You with somebody that may be a little bit older. That makes um, sense. So that's what I'm seeing. Maybe a businessman. There may be a, a time when you'll say, you know what, let's date other people for a while and maybe come back together. Right. And so we did do that. Absolutely not. Yeah, actually, I think it was right after this video we broke up and then we ended up getting back together. Like six months later, but we're going and then broke up again. You know, six, seven years down the road, right? That there may be another person for you. So my camera ended up dying, as you could see. You didn't really miss much. The end of it was really just them saying that they see me having a little girl. Yeah. I think that was about it. So all in all, mm, I'm still unsure about the psychic reading thing. I don't think anything that was said necessarily has happened. I mean, they did say that I would have my own business in the fashion world, which is true, but they said it would be many years down the line. So maybe there's something else in my future. They said they didn't see me and my ex getting married. So they were right there. And then they said I was gonna get married in my late 20s, early 30s, so not there yet. So I don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys think of Psychics. And it is now seven o'clock. I let the battery charge and played Sims that whole time. I actually got the expansion pack with apartments. Actually, okay, this is the funniest thing. When I first got back to Toronto, somebody commented saying, wow, it's like your vlogs just got the season's expansion pack. And I thought that was the funniest thing I had ever seen, because it's true. I feel like my life just got the real life expansion pack of seasons. Crazy, I always, I always had to buy the seasons expansion pack because I thought it was more fun on Sims, which is funny that I ended up going to somewhere that didn't have seasons. But I don't know, I just, I thought that was really funny. It's seven o'clock now, so I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna make what I said I was gonna make last night, I'm pretty sure, which is a baked sweet potato and some tofu and then the bok choy that I made last night. Also, I realized that I haven't gone through any of the Bath and Body Works stuff that I received, um, I think since day two, so we'll open all of the ones that I missed up till today, tonight. But let's start with dinner, because it is seven. I didn't watch any TV today. I didn't even turn the thing on. Of course, classic. Okay, so when I say baked sweet potato, I actually mean throwing the potato into the microwave for five minutes. For so long, I actually baked it for like an hour, and then I realized you can actually throw it in the microwave, and it's so much faster, and it's the exact same. So like, why waste an hour waiting for it? Where did I put my sweet potato? You know, looking at this potato now, I feel like it's maybe a little too old. I think we're just gonna skip it. Maybe we'll make something more delicious, like a pizza. <laughs> What do I want to do? Let's see what I have. Hmm, I have a soup, but that's not like really dinnery to me. Oh, I know what I can make. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have this meal that I got from Farm Boy. It requires no cooking. I just have to throw it in the, the oven. We got the General Tao chicken, broccoli, rice, and then the chicken. I mean, this sounds delicious and effortless. So let's make that. But I am gonna snack on this bok choy. Bake, start. Okay, I'm gonna snack on this. So I am a little hungry. And while I do that, I will watch an episode of Lost. Previously on Lost. So I ate just about all of that. There's like very, very little left. And now it's 7.30 and it beeped a while ago, but I was watching Lost, so. Okay, I flipped it over as fast as I could. Oh, look at that. Did I spread it out? I don't know, this feels kind of weird. Like this is rice. Throw in the oven, like I worry that it's gonna ruin it, but that's what it says. All right, well, we'll see. Spread it around, I don't really know. I'm going to put this into a bowl and then maybe top it with some sauce. When I say sauce, I might mean ranch, but like TBD. Okay, a bite with everything. We have chicken, rice, broccoli. Yeah, okay, so the chicken is very dry and like there's some like weird parts. Okay, so here's my thing with chicken. There are many reasons why I don't cook it myself and like why I don't eat it very often. But one of those reasons is I'm very like, very weird with textures. Um, if there's like a weird texture in the chicken, I like, I've, yeah, I can't do it. And that chicken definitely had like a really weird 
texture. I'm hoping that I just got a bad bite. I'm gonna definitely load this with sauce to hopefully extract my brain from the texture and just focus on the flavor. But yeah, this was underwhelming. That's why I just, I really like tofu because it can never freak me out. Like, I don't know, I get weird with, with meat, which is why I don't eat a lot of it. Putting on my jalapeno ranch, it just makes everything good. All right, I'm going to attempt to eat this and I'll let you guys know how it went. <sighs> okay guys, it's nine o'clock. I ended up eating that entire bowl. It was fine. I just happened to have the one weird bite. Like that was my first bite. It definitely wasn't great if I'm being honest. Like the rice, some of it was so hard from being in the oven. I don't know. The whole thing was kind of weird. I, like I must have done something wrong, I think. Either way, I ate it. It was fine. And I topped it with a bunch of hot sauce, which definitely helped. And now to end the vlog, I'm gonna go and open up the ones that I have not opened yet. We have three, four, five, and six. Number three. Men's collection body spray well there is no man in my life oh it smells so good oh my god i'm actually just gonna smell this i don't care if that feels sad but this like gives me like man vibes that smells so good forest by bath and body works if you guys have a man in your life this smell is bomb that's great okay number four Boop. A eucalyptus spearmint body wash to keep me stress-free from their aromatherapy line. Natural essential oils. This is great. Oh my God, lovely. Oh, it says body wash and foam bath. That's awesome. Okay, I'm definitely gonna take a bath soon. Number five. This is so fun. What are you? A hand sanitizer and holder to keep germs under lock and key. They're so cute. And last but not least, we have number six. What do we have? 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream, snowflakes and cashmere. Let's try it. Oh my God, that smells so good. Yes, oh my goodness. I'll just put that right all over my legs. This is probably one of the coolest PR packages I've ever gotten. Like so many cool things. But I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm gonna get myself ready for bed. I am going to make my cup of tea, get into bed, watch another episode of a show, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some house tours. I'm gonna die. I'm so excited. Oh man, I'm also stressed, but I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching today's video. Leave me a comment down below. Give this a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!